Good morning. This is Kat Chancellor with Stamp Art Connection and StampArtConnection.com. I'm an independent demonstrator. And today I'm going to show you how to put together this card right here. <clears throat> this is made from the Great Tiding Set. And I also use the dies that come with this bundle. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, what you're going to need is... You're going to need a piece of Whisper White. You're going to need some, um, some silver foil. And you're going to need a piece of black cardstock because that's going to be our background. And the black cardstock is going to be our base. So I'll give you those dimensions here in a minute. You're also going to need some Memento ink, some Versamark and some clear embossing powder. And you're going to need a Stamparatus as well as your die cut machine and a embossing folder and I'm using the Dainty Diamonds embossing folder. I'm also using some um, uh, embellishments. I've got both the uh, red rhinestones and I've got the clear rhinestones and some of the adhesive backed tape. And lastly, you're going to need some kind of, of pens. Um, you can use some, and here are just some because I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I don't have my entire uh, crafting room with me. I don't have my stamping blends. So I'm just using some, some um, alcohol inks I got off the internet. And I just picked some very basic colors like deep red, cobalt blue, deep green, peacock cream. And these are the kind of the colors that I use to color my, to color my wise men. So um, I think that's it. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to do to stamp your wise men is you're going to grab your stamp apparatus and we're going to take our, our white cardstock. Now, how I did it is I cut my cardstock and this is, um, five and a half by, um, I believe I did this by four and a quarter and I just basically cut this in half. Then I, I placed my wise men on my stamparatus so that my stamp so that my wise men were kind of arranged kind of equally across my plate. And then I went ahead and I used my magnets. Now I'm not using the foam piece that comes with my stamparatus, which is this piece here, because these are rubber rubber stamps and they're already um, foam backed so you don't have to worry about it i then took my memento now once you stamp this you're just going to leave these here because what you're going to do is we're going to stamp with memento black and since we're using our alcohol inks the Memento Black is perfect and it'll give you a nice crisp image. And because you're using your Stamparatus, you can make sure that your image is going to come in very, very crisply. So you can just go back and forth as much as you need to get a full crisp image. Missing a little bit right there, not a problem. Again, keep stamp, keep applying the ink until you're satisfied with the image that you're getting. Just use your finger to kind of make sure that you're getting everything. And look how, look how nice, perfect. See how, how pretty that is? All right, we're going to set that aside. Right away, I like to grab um, a wipe, wipe off my stamps. 
And then, as you can see, I usually put a piece of um, a piece of paper right there. And I'm just going to set this aside. Now we're going to go ahead and color. Okay, now that I have um, colored my three kings, I'm going back to my stamparatus and I'm going to place them back in, same place where I had them when I uh, stamped them. I put down my magnets. Now I'm going to grab my Versamark. And I'm going to ink up my stamps with Versamark. Before I stamp the Versamark, I'm going to grab my um, embossing buddy. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and stamp my Versamark. Sure, it's come out. I'm going to do it one more time. Okay, pull these out. Let me grab my paper. Let's kind of wipe off my Versamark. Let's close this off. Grab my coffee filter. And I have my clear embossing powder. I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of let that go down. There we go.
now you can see how absolutely vivid, how absolutely vivid these come out now that you've, um, that you've embossed them with clear. Isn't that beautiful? They're just absolutely vivid. And now they're ready to be cut with our dies. So that is how you, um, there's your coloring and your um, embossing technique for the Three Kings. Let's go ahead and back out because I have, um, my kings have already been, been colored and stamped. And I'm gonna put these aside. Uh, I just want to show you that it was so easy that I was able to do several of these. And that's another reason why the verse using your stamparatus is the way to go. Because you could stamp um, several pieces and then you can just sit down and do some coloring. And then you can come back in and then emboss. Now, after you have colored them, what you're going to need are the dies from the triangle stitch framelits and it's this die right here if you go ahead and you kind of nest them i have it turned upside down it's like this this um this die fits perfectly over um the image and then you just go ahead and you cut out three of them so uh, i've already done that and that gives you a really nice um stitched image for your for your kings okay these are the dies that come with the bundle and i'm pulling in this beautiful little uh arc arch frame and i'm also going to need this embossing folder so then let me pull in my let me pull in my cutting board because I'm just going to set these aside. I'm going to bring in my cutting board. Here's my other piece of Whisper White that I could use for another for another set. I'm going to bring in my gold, my silver foil, and I'm I'm going to use my uh, die as a kind of as a as a um, guide, and I want to go ahead and cut this about here, which is about about three and three fourths. We're gonna cut this about three and three fourths. And put this gold foil aside. And then what we're going to do is I'm gonna put some of this adhesive sheet on the back of my gold foil. I mean, my silver foil. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that there. And then I'm using um, a piece of uh, some adhesive sheet that I got out of uh, Amazon, um, which is just really easy, very convenient. I've had this for over over a year, maybe. Yeah, I've had it definitely over a year. It's going to last me a long time. But um, it's also available in straight sheets and in, in the annual catalog. And it kind of comes in uh, like this. It's multi-purpose sheets. It lasts just as well. I just, um, I just went ahead and, and picked pick this other product. Now I'm going to let me just put my kings over here and move my, my inks. I'm going to bring in my my machine and camera, turn it this way. And I'm going to use my, uh, both my one and two bottom plate. And I have my top plate here. I think this two is for and I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to place this here. Make sure I have it on yeah, the right side, on the side that has the embossing. And we're going to go ahead and run that through like that. Now 
Okay. All right. So now that that's done, when we pull this out, this piece is going to pop out. Okay. Let's put this other piece aside. All right. We're going to do something with that. This piece is going to pop out. Now, this is the piece we're going to use for our card. I've got, I've got another um, piece that we can, another idea for how to use that other piece. Okay, this is a 3D embossing folder, and it's called the Dainty Diamonds. So for your 3D embossing folder, all you need, and I love the, the instructions here, for a 3D embossing folder, you just need um, your folder, and I'm going to put my image in. Okay, here's the top of my folder. I'm putting in my piece of silver foil. It's got my um, that uh, adhesive sheet at the back. Just going to line that up like that. And then I'm going to use this top piece. Now I want to put this in, so I always put the fold in going into my embossing folder. And then I'm going to emboss. Look at that. There you go. Isn't that pretty? Just that bottom plate and then this gray plate for your 3D embossing folders. Okay. So let me move that aside. All right. So we've gone ahead and embossed that. Now I'm going to grab a piece of black. And I should have my black here. And my base card is going to be a Whisper White. So let's make sure that my Whisper White, I'm going to go ahead and score at five and a half right here. So I've scored that. Now my black layer is going to be five and a fourth by four. So let's make sure this is five and a fourth right there. And I'm going to use four right there. Okay. Now I've taken another embossing folder. And this is, I'm using the, another 3D embossing folder. This is the time worn type. So, go ahead and bring this in again. And this has this really nice texture on it. I want that to kind of be on my background. So I'm going to go ahead and place this right there. Again, I'm using a 3D. I'm going to put the, um, the folded end into my machine like this. I'm using my, my um, embossing plate, the 3D embossing folder. I'll pull that out. Let's move this aside and voila, I now have that piece. I'm going to go ahead and put this aside. Okay, now that I have, I have my, um, my piece of white cardstock. Let me just kind of move this in. I have my white cardstock, my base card. I have my black layer, five and a fourth by four, that I've embossed with the time worn type embossing folder. Okay, and then I'm going to take my inside of that piece and I'm going to put that right there. So let's go ahead and um, adhere that nicely here. I'm just going to use some some all-purpose glue.
I'm going to go ahead and put that right there like that. Okay, now I'm going to place that in the middle. And since we have that nice adhesive sheet, we can just go ahead and place that right there. And now I can go ahead and I can place my kings right there. And I can kind of place them where I can have, um, I wanna have kind of like this. You can see that. And now I'm just gonna bring in um, some dimensionals. And the first one you want to place when you're doing this is you want to place your middle king right there. So let's place, let's go ahead and grab our dimensionals and place our middle king. All right, so let, we're going to place that one. We're going to place right in the middle. right there, right in the middle, right there. Okay, so that sets how you're going to place your other two kings that you have here. So I'm just gonna, and I'm just pulling these off using my, my tool. And I'm gonna place this one right, kind of down a little bit and I'm going to kind of keep these edges kind of even right there and this one's going to go right along there and I'm kind of lining I'm kind of lining those two up there now the best part is we're going to grab our embellishments and I'm using the red actually I do have look at this look what I have in here I have some holiday rhinestone so I think I'm going to use so I, I'm just pulling out a bunch of rhinestones that I have um, I kind of like to use um, the white and the red and the tops of my crowns here so I'm going to grab for this crown with the red I'm just going to grab these red I'm just going to grab some red rhinestones and that just goes perfectly right there. And I'm just going to put a rhinestone right in the middle of that crown because it's got four, it's got four little points, but I'm just going to use three rhinestones and then I'm going to um, I'm going to put a red rhinestone here on top of this to kind of look like that's the top of a of the um, the dish, and then I'm going to pick this white rhinestone. I'm going to put the white one right there in the middle of of the turban, and then I'm going to use a um, white rhinestone to go on the top of this dish. And then over here, I'm just going to use, and I have, I have this line of rhinestones, so I'm gonna use these small rhinestones here. So let me go ahead and pull in that there. And that there. And I'm just kind of cutting this rhinestone off that strip and we're just going to put that there. Okay. And then what I'm going to do just to mix it up is I'm going to pull a rhinestone off of this that I had. And I'm just going to pull off a big one and I'm going to put that one right there, which I think looks kind of, kind of cool. So there you go. I've used all my rhinestone embellishments.
and um, I've created my card. So let's go ahead and zoom out so you can see. There you go, fast and easy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make another card now because um, I have my other three kings. This is very easy to um, to kind of do some production uh, production uh, stamping because if you use your if you use your uh, stamp apparatus, you're able to go ahead and stamp these cleanly quickly. You're also able to um, uh, use your, as I said, your white embossing box, um, your white embossing powder. Okay, stamp with memento, color. Then use your your white and your clear embossing powder to kind of give you that really pretty, and you can see how pretty that looks. It gives you that nice um, kind of a stained glass look, and then. I have this piece on my silver foil, and here's my adhesive backing. I have another plan for this, and uh, I'm going to create a card using this arch, and here it is right here. I've used the same set, the dies that come with this set, only I'm going to trim that arch, and that arch then becomes this beautiful window where you can see this, this lovely Christmas scene. So you can make another card using that. So this is Kat Chancellor with Stamp Art Connection and stampartconnection.com. Thank you so much for, for joining me. And I hope that you've got um, some inspiration. And hey, if you haven't liked this video, please like this video and um, subscribe. So have a happy Veterans Day and happy stamping.